I am Amit Gupta. I am an AWS Solutions Architect. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add more images to our train or test data set and learn how to label the newly added images as normal or anomaly using the Amazon Lookout for Vision console. So let's head over to the Amazon Lookout for Vision console. Uh, continuing from the previous tutorial where we had created a project called Lookout for Vision Demo and we had created a data set composed of these printed circuit board images. So the first thing when you come to the console, you will see uh, some very useful information. Here it says you have enough to label images to train a model. What this means is that we are meeting the minimum criteria of 20 normal images and 10 anomalous images. The second thing it is saying is that you can improve the quality of your model by adding more labeled images. Uh, the way to add more images to your data set is by going to the actions button here and clicking on it. Here it brings up either you can add images to training data set or add images to the test data set. In this particular case, we had created a data set using the simple data set option and that's why only the add images to training data set is active. But if you had created a data set with the option of train and test data set, then the add images to test data set would also be active. So let's go ahead and add images to our training data set by clicking on this. And you can go ahead and drag and drop the images from your local host onto this console and then click OK and it will basically upload all those images to your uh, training data set. In this case, I've already preloaded the images uh, to save time here. So uh, what you notice here is when you come uh, on the filters here, it shows there are 64 images total, 40 are labeled, and then 24 newly added images to the training data set are unlabeled. So the other part to notice here is the unlabeled images aren't used for training. Now, so for us to include these images into the training, we have to go ahead and add the labels to these images. So the way to do that is to click the add labels button here and uh, you, 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 you see that we have now the option to either select all the images on this page or you can select individual images and label them. In this particular case, on this page here, we have all normal images. So let's take advantage of that and select all images on this page and classify them as normal. Let's go on to the second, pa uh, second page here. And here we see we have a mix of normal and anomaly images. So uh, the first five images are normal and the last four images are anomaly. So what we can do here is we can select the first five images. Uh, let's go ahead and select the first five images and let's classify them as normal. And then when you classify it as normal, again, the, the it shows up as a, uh, as the green uh, checkbox here. And then let's click through each of these anomaly images and you can label them individually. So let's click each one of them and label them anomaly here. So click here, anomaly, click on the image and label them as anomaly. So let's move on to the next page here and here what we see on this page is all these images are anomaly. So we can again take advantage of selecting all the images on this page and classifying them as anomaly. So once you're done that, you see that there are, it, it prompts you to save the changes. And in the parentheses, the number 24, it means that we have labeled 24 of these images. So let's go ahead and save uh, the changes and what this is doing now is all these newly added 24 images are being labeled uh, as we label them and it's updating the data set the trained data set with these newly added images so now that the process is complete now you can see on the images we have 64 images and all 64 have been labeled so uh, that concludes this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will learn how to train 
all these images. Um, there are 34 normal images and 30 anomaly images and how we go about training the model and improving the model. Thank you for listening.